What's up guys, this is episode 1 of Through the Eyes of the Hunter. I hope you enjoyed the intro. As we get more footage, we should be updating it with different and better clips of us. Like I said, this is the first one, so I hope you are as excited as we are. With this being the first one, the footage might not be the greatest, as I was focused on getting my first bow kill than filming, but you do get to see some action. For a warning, I encourage you to turn up your volume, as some parts are harder to hear. With that known, let's get started. I am your host, Cody, or as most of you know me as Smalls, and my friends Brandon, Harry, and I, and Will started a hunting for show and page. This episode is my second time out in the woods this year, ready to go with my new Matthew switchback. A week before I got home, my dad put some scent out, and these guys made an appearance. We have a little seven, a little eight, a bigger six pointer, a big eight pointer, and a web nine. So hopefully this weekend one of these guys will make an appearance. Let's see what happens.
Well guys, it's a pretty eventful morning so far. Beautiful morning. There are quite a few squirrels that come out, which kind of sucked for a little bit, but otherwise I had a flock of turkeys come out and they ate about, about 10 minutes to 9. I had that four-pointer come out that you saw. Yeah, he snuck down to the pond. Second time I've had a deer do that. And he, the wind picked up and just like that he winded me. The wind was favoring the pond side. I was hoping a deer would not come out that way, but just so happened that that buck did. He was a little four-pointer. And he winded me, but he didn't get too shook. He just knew that someone was up this trail. So he went over to what, over there where he's got a scrape and he freshened it up and uh, rubbed on his stick and then he moseyed, moseyed on. So I don't feel too shook about what happened but just kind of sucks because if he does come this way he I was gonna draw on him because even though there's bigger bucks but I only have today and in two weeks from now I got one more one more day so it was gonna happen but I guess it was a lucky day the wind blew right as he was down there getting a drink so that's the only at least I know what they look like Got the C1 deer with horns to a shooter. But hopefully tonight will be a lot better. So it's about 10 o'clock now. So I'll head back, go eat, and then I'm going to shoot some broadheads with my bow and check out what the camera looks like with the on the stabilizer. So but hopefully tonight, tonight will be the one. <laughs>
All right, what's up guys? You are not gonna believe this, even if I tell ya. I mean, season's wrapping up here. I'm gonna be getting down in about two minutes, but I just got winded by three bucks. Three. Two tonight, and a door. I mean, it's, you can't go buy that stuff on the TV, they come back, I mean, this is nuts. First, I had that big eight pointer come down. And he come down to the pond and just he picked up kind of my scent. He went freshened up that scrape that that four pointer had done earlier. And then he headed off and we got a scent line. So I figured he's got to hit it, come over here to this scrape that we got. So I, uh, I uh, grunted at him with a doe bleat, bleated at him, and he would not budge off that one scrape he just kept looking at me 
so then all of a sudden I hear movement or I hear noise here comes a doll so now he doesn't know what's going on she gets out and wins me starts heading off I try to get him stopped and it just wouldn't take so now about 15 minutes later here comes that four pointer that winded me this morning he's coming straight for me almost gives me a shot and then heads down to the pond and then I wait for him to give me a shot down at the pond but I can't quite tell if I can get the bull pulled back and he wins me he, come, he goes around the back side he gets behind my tree and wins me goes up a little bit starts snorting and wheezing so yeah this is one of the craziest hunts I've been on I mean wow wow is all I can say but so I'll wrap up a little bit wrap up episode one and two weeks from now we'll try her again but well I'm gonna get out of here before it gets completely dark and there you have it it was an awesome hunt but I just couldn't get any luck to go my way hopefully in two weeks I will get another chance I will also work on the film quality to the next time I go out well, that's all I got for you. So until next time, this is Through the Eyes of the Hunter, and we are signing off.